Elephants have been used by man for ivory, which as a result has drastically decreased the population of elephants in modern age. The Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, CITES, proposed a ban and disruption on the international marketing of African poached ivory due to how close the elephant species was to extinction. This disruption was thought that by making ivory out of reach in the international market, ivory would lose a lot of its value, thus making elephants an unappealing and less profitable target for illegal poaching. African elephants are the largest species of the two subspecies. An African male elephant can vary in size. They can reach up to 4 meters in height, weigh up to 7,000 kilograms. They can produce tusks that average at 1 to 2 meters in length that weigh approximately 60 kilograms, giving the price of an elephant kill an average of 30,000 just on tusk alone. The price of ivory was on a climb as the demand by many was made. In just nine years, the price had jumped up to $74.80 per kilogram. In another 20 years, the price increased to 198 per kilogram. Normally, when an elephant dies of natural death, the body decomposes in a natural way, and eventually it becomes easy to pull out the tusks. Like this, this one here, you can look, the skull is very intact. It has not been interfered with. But for the poachers, they are in a hurry. Immediately they, they shoot the animal, they want to take the task and get away with it immediately. And this is what they normally do, they have to hack, they break the skull so that they can be able to take off the, the tusks. From the years 1979 to 1989, the elephant population in Africa decreased by approximately 700,000 due to ivory-hungry poachers. Those elephants on the ground, it was, it was horrendous. I wish I didn't see it. It's terrible. It's horrible, it's just horrible. It's ugly to, to see. Most of the time, the, the elephants are very close together. We think they push them together before shooting them. They were just systematically killing all elephants. Due to this, CITES announced a regulation on the 18th of July 1989, stating that elephants were under Appendix 1, their most protected category. This regulation stated that the trade of elephant ivory was now illegal and was no longer permitted. This regulation was placed to allow conservation and protection for the declining species of African elephants. We almost lost 1 million elephants due to poaching prior to the ban. Different techniques have been used to determine if the ban has been successful in the elephant's repopulation through examining the elephant population prior to the ban and post-ban population sizes, population data, ivory markets, seizures, economical modeling, and observational data. They all show similar results in population. Important study findings have shown that the population of Africa's elephant is increasing little by little each year from its low. Since the ban of international ivory trading put in place by sites in 1989, it is quite remarkable to see that elephant population has continued to grow with an increase of numbers every year. Elephants are a world heritage, and so everybody should contribute to the protection of elephants. And for that, we need help. 